I am the Repster, and I send this message to all of you. Watch this review. Autobots, let's roll. I can't pull Peter Collin off for the life of me. What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. Transformers was directed by Michael Bay and stars Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox. This film came out in 2007 and it follows these two Cybertronian races at war. The heroic Autobots and the evil Decepticons. They come to Earth looking for a clue to the ultimate power held by a teenager. Getting right into the positives y'all. The cinematography and the lighting done by Mitchell Amundsen was just awesome. It was lit up just perfectly. It was really crisp and clear. I could see everything that was going on. Of course, it was awesome. I love the way the I love the way Michael Bay filmed this movie, y'all. And Bay's direction. I love er, just about every movie he's done. I've got both the Bad Boys movies, Armageddon. I watched Pearl Harbor. He's an amazing director. I, I liked The Island. Anything he does, I'm always there. Steve Jablowski's score was just fantastic. Of course, I've only watched the cartoon version of this once, but it's been a while. But the music in this, the score that Steve done, it was so instrumental, and you could really feel that you were watching, you could really tell that you were watching a Transformers movie because of his score, because it was so unique, and I just I love the way he did it. Glenn Stentlberry and Paul Rubble's editing was done really well. It wasn't choppy. There was some shaky camera in incidences in like the first act or first couple acts, but it was it was done pretty well. I, it, it wasn't shot to crap or anything. Roberto Orki and Alex Kurtzman's story was just awesome. It was it was one of those stories that you really really could get into, and I, I was just hooked the whole way. The U.S. Department of Defense actually supported this movie. They've done other movies, but they actually provided vehicles as alternates for Barricade and Bone Crusher, two of the Decepticons. That was pretty cool. The effects in it was just awesome, the way they made the Transformers look when they, tra when they would transform into their cells and then transform back into the cars. It looked, like I said, this goes back to the lighting and cinematography all rolled into one. The lighting and the cinematography really worked for the effects, I think, because it didn't look cheesy. It didn't look cheap. It was just perfectly, of course. This was a high dollar budgeted movie. You've got the money, then flaunt it. Do what you can. And that's what they did with this film. All right, the negatives, though most of the characters was 100%. They gave it their all. Shia LaBeouf, Megan Fox, Anthony Anderson. I liked his character. He was pretty funny. John Voight as the Minister of Defense. Peter Cullen, who voiced Optimus Prime in this, also voiced him in the 1980s cartoon version, which was warmly welcomed by audiences and considered one of the film's best aspects. I thought Hugo Weaving's portrayal of Megatron was just great. The only problems I had with this film was those parents of the main character, of Shia LaBeouf character. They were a little annoying. I couldn't really stand them. I wish they would have just done away with them. And some of the dialogue in this film, they put a little bit too much comedy in it, and I felt that was a little unnecessary, folks. Yes, this movie is about robots coming to life and saving planet Earth. But that's all it should have been. There shouldn't have been all this extra stupid funny dialogue and stuff. It just it got old real fast. Despite those negatives, which was only two, this was a great action film. I felt really intrigued. It was done really good and genius piece of filmmaking. My final thoughts, I definitely recommend it. It is definitely a good film for action junkies. Guys, Transformers gets an A. I figured I'd do this review right now because Bumblebee is coming out this weekend, which I will be doing a review for that, so stay tuned. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Make sure to subscribe to the Reactor Reactions Galore, which is in the link down in the description below. And also, make sure to like the Ripster and the Reactor on Facebook, which is also down below. 
What did y'all think of Transformers? Y'all like it? Y'all hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Our review for Bumblebee and Aquaman should be out by this weekend. So stay tuned for that. And peace, rip out.